we talked before coming on the air. Cogs is not very tall. <laughs> he's got some big guys. Yeah, and this uh, contrast of basketball. You know, we talked to some people about the team that played yesterday, Young Cogs. We thought that they could just run right over Young Cogs, and they hear they come out and win the basketball game as the under seat. You got your boy and Luther with their big, tall guy. Gonna go up against nobody over six foot, so obviously it's on a brain surgery. Let's get the ball to Jacob Ignacevic and Graydon Grabowski tonight. Let's talk about it from a more pragmatic point of view. To do with the defensive side. If they're gonna be small and they're here, you gotta expect they're gonna be extremely quick. What does Luther do to counteract that? Well, that puts a lot of pressure again on uh, for Hagen to, to, to do a very nice job of taking care of the ball. He's going to have to take care of it. I would assume he's going to be highly pressured and things like that. Jonah Jers might have to fall back a little bit, help a little bit there as well. One thing about the boy and Luther is they like to get up and down the floor too, and a lot of their guys can handle the ball. So uh, I'm not really concerned about you know, just Casey doing it because they're just a team that likes to go and run anyway. So I think that's a positive. Just like the kids in class, Chris, you weren't listening. <laughs> Luther knew on defense. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Man, on offense. Uh, defensively, I, I think that, you know, one thing I, I've been saying ever since we first saw them play this year is that is there an emphasis on defense? And I think this is the Higgins best defensive team of the year. I mean, Jonah Jerk always gets the best, toughest guy, so he's going to uh, get that tonight. And then, of course, they're not going to. Allow too many extra shots, you know. Dick Nothing is tough against tall kids. I mean, he likes to go and get rebounds, so I think it's Todd is going to be one and out. If they shoot well, they're going to hang in. Jacob averages uh, 15 and a half rebounds per game. You can expect for him to get a lot of rebounds tonight. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, We don't know too much about him, Chris. I don't know if you do. If you have heard anything, what do you know about him? Well, I, I looked at their schedule. I mean, they played some good. They started off the season in Sheboygan. They are the Sheboygan South Tournament. They lost the third game to the and then they beat New Holstein. So they've been in the city before already. They they played some bigger teams. Uh, and we're talking Division One teams. Uh, they have played some smaller teams, but the team that, even though they're 14 and eight, they're they're battle tested. They're an independent. Conference. Uh, Lutheran comes in with an outstanding record, 22 and two, and uh, best maybe the best player in the area. Certainly one of the top two between him and Brent Witter and uh, Jacob Agnosovic. And uh, you got to you're gonna funnel the ball through him. Yeah, I would think they're gonna do what they can to, you know, keep the ball around the outside and create some one-on-one uh, -on -one opportunities. Watch their clock to kind of. You know, try to sink and fill in there, and then it's going to be up to uh, maybe Jonah Jerk. Oh, I understand uh, he's under the weather a little yeah, bit he's tonight. Not starting them. Yeah, so that's that's a bad thing because we need his three point shot. But watch him dip it down and then kick it back out. And that's you know, Jonah is one of those guys that doesn't seem to take a lot of shots, but he needs to score. He can make that three. Let me ask you a strategy question, Chris. Uh, Lutheran does like the press. You know, they'll extend their defense way out. Uh, when you play a, uh, a small team, a quick team, like uh, Cog, you got a good strategy to... I, I would still work them up and down the floor. Just, you know, you got to stay in front. And I just man them up and just work them up the floor. Because, like I said, I think Luther doesn't mind the path-based game. Because, you know, they're going to get out and run. But one thing, you know, once that ball goes in the hoop, you better turn around and get your tail back on defense. Another thing, and this is something we talked about before we went on the air, too, is uh, you got four guys in double figures scoring. Yeah. I mean, you don't see that in high school basketball very often. Yeah, that was one concern. I, you know, I looked at there, four guys in double figures, and then they dropped off a lot. A lot like Sheboygan and Lutheran. Basically, Michael Berger's their only sub. You're talking about a cock team, too, that loaded with sophomores on their team, so they're very young. Experience coming into this house is going to be a difficult thing. But, you know, they do have starters. Maybe get those guys in foul trouble. And I think the loser bench might be a bigger role. One thing I noticed too, that I think three or four different kids at, uh, for their high game of the year was uh, over 30 points. So. But with that, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineup and the tip off for tonight's basketball game. at the game last week.
Is everything all right? Hey, uh, you just haven't been feeling like me lately. You know I'm here for you, right? That's a cut. Beautiful. Acting is one thing. Talking about suicide in real life is another. In the military, you take challenges head on. And now it's your turn to do the same for our veterans. Be there. Learn how you can start the conversation at BeThereForVeterans.com. I dare you. I dare you to change the world. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you? Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you. to your money whatever you want to get smart about you can find it smartaboutmoney.org smart about money is a free online resource we are a non-commercial non-profit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get information about money for everything from how to build an emergency fund to how to deal with job uncertainty smartaboutmoney.org has the answers you've been looking for smartaboutmoney.org the easy place to start when you want to get smart about your finances
Young Cogs come in, comes in 14 and eight. Sheboygan Lutheran comes in 22 and two. There you see big Jacob Agnosevic in the center circle. He'll be jumping for the Crusaders, jumping for Young's Cog will be number 15, Jalen Tolliver. He's a six foot guard. He is their leading scorer. Averaging 21.7 points per game. A very low toss by the official. Crusaders take control of it. And they're packing in that zone, Marty. We thought they might do that zone. Ignacevic gets it, he gets around the defense, funnels it inside, and scoring the basket was Graydon Grabowski. Ignacevic gonna draw attention and then they'll just dump it to Graydon Grabowski. The, expect those two guys to have big games today. Lutheran in a zone defense, which is something we thought might happen given the quickness of uh, young Cogs. Uh, Good drop down and tip away by uh, Michael Berger, and it goes off a young Cogs player. See how Lutheran handles the press. Agnostic for a dunk. Oh. Oh, hangs on the rim and goes down. Good job of breaking the press. <laughs> I was expecting Terrence to Gray, their coach, was right in line with the basket and the <laughs> pass. I couldn't see what was going on. You can slide down a little, Marty, if you choose. The shot is off, but Cog Youngs gets the rebound, putting it up and in was Terrence Members Jr. Don't be afraid to give it Ignacevic the ball here. For Hagen, a dump down inside to Ignacevic and he gets bumped. He'll be shooting free throws. Nasovic doing a nice job at the free throw line, 85%. Takes a lot of trips there. By the end of this day, it'll be over 200 attempts. That's pretty amazing. If you think about it, it's almost 10 a game. In and out, five to two, Lutheran on top. Three ball is no good. Nasovic with a rebound. A little too quick on that possession. Anthony Martin the third, uh, pretty quick out there, their point guard. Three ball is no good by members. Five to two. Like to see Luther get out on those shooters a little quicker, Marty. Michael Berger going to the hoop, uh, got fouled on the way. Non-shooting foul, Lutheran will get it out of bounds. Coming in, Delvin Ooh. Barnstable. Okay. He mentioned in the opening he was sick, didn't start. Normally he'd start. He's sick, he doesn't look. A lot of flu in the county. I know we had 10, 10 kindergartners out the other day. 10 out of uh, 24. <laughs> Were you one of them? Uh, no. A <laughs> lot of contact yeah, there. Yeah, they let them play, didn't they? And they're going to get a charging call on Young Cogs. Number four, Terrence Members. Verhagen kicking it up to uh, Gnosevic, who goes around for the slam dunk. Taking it baseline. Nice skip pass. 
Good ball movement by Young Cogs. They just can't make it. Masovic with another board, Chris. Showing good hands on that position. Barnstable with a three off the bench and he scores a three. And with that three, Young Cogs takes a full timeout with 14.42 left. Lutheran on top, 10 to two. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Good timeout by Coach Gray, I thought, Marty. Don't want this one to get, a, get away. Young Cogs off to a slow start shooting, which uh, both They've well. actually had some pretty good looks from they outside the, the line, the three-point line. They just couldn't make there them. There you see Coach Gray. His team has had some good looks. They just haven't made them, which uh, Lutheran has got to do a little bit better job of getting out on those shooters. Barnstable, Juris, and uh, Grabowski near the bottom of that zone. Ignacevic in the middle, and Casey Verhagen is on top. Two subs in the game here, Marty. Couch and Hatton. Oh, great rebound. Good use of the body. Demetrius Hatton scores inside. Ignacevic in the land of the Giants. He is the Giant. Yeah. Scores and his falls. Very difficult. Here you'll see a replay. Do that all, all game. Ooh. You know, he had the body, but he put his hands down for you young players. If you go straight up, they may not call that. But as soon as your hands go down, it makes it more difficult. Tolliver looking for an opening. Couldn't find it that time. Three ball is no good. Another rebound by Jacob Ignacevic. Bingo. Barn stable, couldn't oh. get that one to go. But great ball movement by the Crusaders to get that wide open shot. Tolliver, oh. in and out, it's been that kind of a night. Agnostic with a clean block, but they call a foul anyway. <laughs> Going to the line is uh, Frederick Couch. I don't think he got him there. I don't think so either. Neither did Jacob. We have Scott Mailoff in the truck, our director tonight for this uh, last game of the season, WSCS season anyway. Uh, Richard Bartson running that camera and Greg Zablocki on the floor camera. Chris Wright doing color, I'm Mike Martin doing the play-by-play. -play. And another half-court trap, see how uh, Lutheran handles it. A little miscommunication. I think the pass was supposed to be for Barnstable. Good hands that time. Graydon Grabowski tipped it, and then the uh, receiver, James Nelson, couldn't handle it. Got to use Ignacevic in the middle here. You don't have to dribble, Casey. Swing that ball, and uh, it's much quicker. There you go. Nice job, Casey. Barnstable from the other side. The left-hander couldn't get it to go, and a bust out for Tolliver. Rolls off, oh my. Actually, uh, Agnostic got away with the walk. They're calling for it on the 
Cog's bench. Nice reverse layup by Jalen Tolliver. 13 to eight. That's better ball movement. Casey Verhals got it in. He got the home court roll on that one. Shot no good. Grabowski with the uh, rebound. Dumped down inside to Ignacevic for an easy two. Great pass by Casey Verholtz. For Higgin, pardon me. Casey averaging uh, almost nine assists a game. Jonah Juris is gonna pick up that foul for the Crusaders. Lutheran has two team fouls so far. Young Cogs has four. Got a stack on one side here. Another three ball that won't go in for uh, the Eagles. Yep. Yeah, Young Cogs, 0 for 8 from 3, Marty. Good observation. But they're getting looks, like yeah, you mentioned. I think out of those eight three-point attempts, only one was under pressure. Ooh, almost an over and back. <laughs> Referee wasn't expecting that. Shot in the lane is no good. But uh, Young Cogs comes away with the offensive rebound. And they've gotten a bunch of those, Marty. That's their uh, fourth offensive rebound. That's a lot. Ooh, there, that could be a definite offensive foul, but it's not gonna be called that way. Yeah. Robbie Michael had a really nice game the other day. Lutheran, a big, big team compared to this team. Right. Oh, they caught him sleeping. That should never happen. I think that was Hatton on the basket. It was. Good ball movement by Berger. Verhagen had a wide open look and he buries it. His second three. 18th and 19th of the game, of the year, I mean, just for him. Two in the game. Crusaders with a double digit lead. Not good ball handling on that possession and nobody wants to get the ball for the official. Fourth turnover for uh, <laughs> fourth turnover for Young Cogs. Actually in 10 minutes, that's pro or eight minutes, that's probably not too bad the way they play. Grabowski got it down deep from uh, Verhagen and had a nice easy look and put the basket through the hoop. Nice 13 point lead for the Crusaders. Nice vertical. Hatton, a good move in the lane, scores. He's been a plus for them off the bench. Six, yes. Six points, two rebounds already. Agnosevic. Going with a man to man here. Same spot for Verhagen. Verhagen's shot, no good. He gets the offensive rebound. Foul goes on Cog Young's number. On Demetrius Hatton, and if I got him for a second foul, Chris. Number zero, Demetrius Hatton. And like you mentioned, he's been a plus off the bench. You want to try and keep him in there. Berger snuck in when we weren't looking. Casey showing us his best Nolan Ryan imitation. 
firing that pass down in there. Casey's third turnover. Four for Lutheran in the game. Barnstable getting ready to check in along with uh, James Nelson Jr. Ignacevic surrounded by uh, Eagles, but he's still able to get the rebound. Casey Verhagen right down Main Street, and he scores again. He has eight points. Once Little again, panic. a good look. Yeah, penetrate they just can't make pitch. any. And uh, hustling for the board, but not able to get it was Audeus Burks. Number 15, Checking in is uh, Anthony Martin, a third. Oh, wow. Demetrius Hatton having his way inside. He's got eight points, all of them down deep. Watch that. That's pretty. Yep. Hogs now up to 30% shooting. Need to shoot a lot better to beat Lutheran though tonight. Michael had a pretty good look but couldn't get it to go. The Eagles with the rebound. Uh, a little bit of a travel there. It's dragged the foot. Hadden knows he can score down deep, Chris. He wants the ball down there some more. Almost a steal. Good hustle by uh, Terrence members, but uh, he's not able to save it. Lutheran will get it back. Coming back in is uh, Jalen Tolliver. Luth Lutheran at 55%, <laughs> 10 of 18 from the floor. We mentioned he's averaging uh, almost 22 points a game. He's only got two so far today. Boy, they're not even looking inside. Agnostic's got his man pinned behind him, and they don't give him the ball. Barnstable gets it in deep and is able to put it up and in. There you see it, right nice. in your basement. Yeah, right. Uh, nice pass by Michael Berger. And getting that shot to go a three-pointer was uh, Martin. First one they've made. Casey's got to look up the floor a little bit more. Michael, what a three ball. Blocked. Ignacevic looks like a house in front of that group. He does. So we mentioned this team played in the Sheboygan South Tournament, lost the first game, won the second game. Nice play. Oh, great pass inside the James Nelson. He got a wide open look and he just couldn't finish. They're getting lots of looks, Marty. They're just not making any. Paul goes on Michael Berger. Just a 44% free throw shooter. I, I don't know if that's on the stat sheet I gave you, but if you look down the line, their free throw shooting is actually pretty horrendous. Yep. Did he make that second one? No. Berger, right to the basket and he scores. He spotted an opening and uh, he went to the hoop. Watch him here again on the second replay shot. Look at that hole. He's gonna split between them. Part of that was Michael taking his man with him to the corner. 
The old left-hander puts that free throw up and off. Didn't drop down for him. 15-point lead for the Crusaders. Another three-point attempt is missed. Berger with the board. Verhagen said he got hit on the arm. Oh, he should have taken a lap. Another shot, no good. Robbie Michael, smallest guy on the floor, gets the rebound. Agnasovic on a great pass from Casey Verhagen, and another score by the Crusaders. Now they gave up the easy layup on this end, and uh, Lutheran, as we mentioned in the opening, likes to run, and uh, here you see it, Shazam. Nice replay from both angles. 12 points for, uh, what, multiple replays? Blocked by Ignacevic. Uh, you know, it's early in the game, Chris. I maybe shouldn't say it, but it's a man among his boys. Yeah. He's just uh, He's a big guy. Yeah. Hatton had a great look and got the shot off without any issues, but just couldn't finish. Good pass inside, Ignacevic's turnaround is off. Grabbing that rebound was Terrence Members. And a steal by Berger, and a bust out for the Crusaders. Dumped down to Barnstable, and he scores. 20 point lead. Just cold shooting for Cogs, and the quick and quickness of uh, Lutheran. Oh, finally, James Nelson nails a three. Here it is on replay. Oh, they forgot about Barnstable, but they give it to the big fella. Agnosovic again scores and is fouled. Oh, it's a third foul on Demetrius Hatton. Agnosovic now three of nine on the floor. Hatton still in the game. Five minutes left. Fifteen points for Big Jake. Great drive to the hoop by Anthony Martin. Good live hands by yeah. Cox. Lutheran survived that. No good. Agnostic <laughs> ridden out from underneath the basket. Just a little. And then Berger <laughs> coming. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> it did take two of the red shirts to get him out of there. <laughs> you know it's bad when you see Agnostic reaching back as his arm's trying to, to go. What else is he going to do right there? Okay, that's a six team foul on uh, Lutheran, so there's no free throws on that foul. Another three ball by James Nelson. Swing it, swing it, or make it. Yeah, Casey Verhagen takes it right down the lane and scores. He's four of six on the floor. He's hot. From this side? No. Rebound put back, no. Again, no, tough break. Burks just couldn't get it in. Agnosovic on another great pass from Casey Verhagen. And he's got 17 points now. Nice pass. Oh, yeah. Barnstable with the block. And then Agnosovic picks it up. Robbie oh on a runner. 
and he scores. Another timeout by Young Cogs. <laughs> Look at that, a runner. Could we call that a teardrop? It's a full timeout, Scott. 3.13 left, Lutheran on top by 21. I'm a teacher, let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up, impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought, and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. Back at Sheboygan Lutheran High School, uh, we're hoping to get some updates on the Sheboygan North game, which is being played at Brookfield East. Uh, saw Jim Horzen this morning and uh, gave him my number. Hopefully his son, uh, Matt, will text us some updates. Uh, the winner of this game on Thursday will travel to Fond du Lac to play, and if uh, they would win in Fond du Lac on Thursday, they go to West Band East on uh, Saturday. That'd be a one o'clock game as the girls are uh, playing their state tournament next weekend up in uh, Green Bay. If North were to win tonight against Brookfield East, they would play on Thursday at Manitowoc Lincoln. Tolliver back in the game with his two fouls and just could not get the ball to roll in. Barnstable with the uh, rebound, Chris. 65% shooting for Lutheran. Oh, and a tough break there. Slipping down was Terrence Members, and he bumped into uh, Verhagen and gets called for the foul. It was a tough luck foul. Yeah, Verhagen's hurt too. Still call timeout. Well, the official down on the baseline took charge and said that's got to be a timeout now. And uh, probably a good decision. You can't let them change their mind because the kid says he's okay. It's a 30 second timeout. Well, outstanding shooting. <coughs> uh, Lutheran, we said in the opening they wanted to get up and down the floor, and they are. I mean, they're at 46 points in a high school game with three minutes left in the first half. They're 19 of 29 shooting. Uh, everything they're, they want to go is going. This is a team that's averaging 78 points a game. And the only people that have slowed them down is Oosberg and Howard this year. I was going to say, Chris, I'm a little surprised that uh, Kersey, Casey Verhagen is not phased by this pressure at all. I mean, right. he's just dribbling right through them. Well, he's got a couple turnovers, but uh, so far so good. And the fact that he's being aggressive and taking shots. Yeah, exactly, right. He too is a He freshman. nailed a couple of threes a little earlier in the half when uh, Lutheran seemed to be pretty stagnant offensively. And uh, he's one of those kids in a couple years, Marty, we're going to be sitting here and Casey Verhagen's just a junior. Because <laughs> he's just a freshman now. Well, good hustle that time for the loose ball. Jacob lost it on the way up. Barnstable couldn't get it. Agnosovic fouled on the shot attempt, put it up and in, but no call. Give him another basket, he's got 19. And we got two minutes, 220 left in the first half. Tolliver scores and Graydon Grabowski's gonna pick up the foul. There you see the no foul. For Graydon, that's his second fall. I didn't realize that. It's definitely a home court advantage today. It's very loud when Lutheran does things well. Yeah, it's really exactly. quiet when Young Cog scores, unlike last night. It isn't night. like uh, Young Cogs <laughs> came with the three busloads of kids. Well, and last night, that was a very loud O'Connor walk, and they had like 25 kids. 
for Hagen driving through, got fouled, splitting the defenders. Picking up that foul as Couch picks up his first foul. For Hagen right back to the line where he just hit two. Thirteen points for Casey this half, Chris. Matt Whitty coming in, seeing his first action. <laughs> Tie up between uh, Robbie Michael and uh, Demetrius Hatton. 24 point lead with two minutes left. Cogs at 30% shooting. We mentioned uh, Lutheran at 65% shooting. There was a walk. Good pass. Wide open shot. Rims out. That's been the story of the first half. Frederick Crouch had a wide open shot and just could not get it to go. Dump down to uh, Jacob. Shot rolls off, and then he uh, is unable to save it. Another shot and missed. Boy, they had a good look there too, Chris, and they just can't get it in. He's got to have close to a double-double this half, huh? Who's that? Agnosevic. Yeah, I have him for 11, Marty. 11 rebounds and 19 points, I believe it is. Tolliver hanging and scoring. He has six. Boy, they don't slow down. Nope. Barnstable. Got it, and he's, there's a whistle underneath. Three-point basket by Delvin Barnstable. He has 10 and a half. Now watch. Oh, Tolliver with his third foul of the half, Chris. 34.2 seconds left. How does coach handle this? Oh, boy. Two of their key players, Tolliver and Hatton, with foul trouble. Yeah, they each have three. It's just difficult to guard Ignacevic. I mean, he's just a beast. If you're gonna do an up and down game, that's the uh, risk you run, more possessions. <laughs> Jalen, just talking to coach, says, I'm good coach. I ain't gonna get commit no foul yet. <laughs> Leave me in there. What? Oh boy, I didn't see that, Chris. And that's his fourth. Matt Witte puts a free throw in. I thought it was two kids hustling for the ball. Yeah. Wow, that's all it was. Yeah, we don't like that one. Well, Woody looked pretty smooth on those two free throws. Oh, shot was blocked. Agnosevic on a good save. Robbie Michael taking it down to the basket, but has it blocked by James Nelson. There's 14.3 seconds left. At this point, Lutheran has uh, doubled up on Young Cogs, and picking up the foul was Anthony Martin. Oh. This is a good choice. Get Ignacevic out of the game. Good decision. 
JT Schultz comes in. Matt Whitty's in the game. Taking of Agnosevic out. That, you're right, Chris, that's a smart move. Driving it right to the basket and scoring was uh, Frederick Crouch. Barnstable shot just won't go at the buzzer and we're at halftime with Lutheran up 59-31. about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I bring the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. When you have arthritis, it can be a painful reminder of all the things you can't do. Let's get a grip on arthritis. You can help by donating at arthritis.org. Some chores you dread. You do them. But that doesn't mean you're happy about it. Then there's registering with the Selective Service. If you're a young man turning 18, the law says you have to register. It'll keep you eligible for college loans, government jobs, and training, and it only takes two minutes, which makes it not only your most important chore, but the easiest. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov or the local post office. Mom and Dad used to argue about everything, especially about Dad's drinking. 
My family went from totally crazy to quiet, calm, and even peaceful when mom started going to Al-Anon family groups. I wanted a better relationship with dad, so I asked mom if she would take me to her Al-Anon meetings or to Alateen. I'm sure glad I did. If someone's drinking troubling you, you might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon or Alateen family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to Al-Anon. If you don't fix them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire. And that could be scary. Bye, Only you can prevent wildfires. I'm not your charity case. I am not your excuse to buy a new dress for the annual fundraiser. I am not the poster child for your big donation. I am out of debt and in my own home. I am off opioids. I'm graduating on time and on my way to a great job. I am. I am. We are. We are. We are. What it means to live united. You're a busy man when you turn 18. But with all you've got going on, don't forget to register with Selective Service. It's the law. It only takes about two minutes to register at sss.gov. And you can do it without even looking up from your phone. Just like that. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov. With Mother's Finances, I wish we had discussed this sooner. It's difficult making decisions for mom. With dad gone, a lot has changed. Seeing my parents age, I worry about their financial decisions. As we age, our ability to make good financial choices decreases. Start the conversation today and plan for the future. Financial resources and tools are available at smartaboutmoney.org, a non-commercial organization focused on your financial success. The police called after midnight when they caught our son at a drinking party. It was a real wake-up call. A policeman suggested we try al family groups. I didn't want to go to a meeting, but I'm glad I did. Are you troubled by someone else's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an al family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or go to alanon.org. Four out of five women with ovarian cancer will experience recurrence. It's often incurable. Until recently, following chemotherapy, women with recurrent ovarian cancer had to simply watch and wait for their disease to come back. Well, we say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. With maintenance therapies, women can delay recurrence. Awareness of your choices empowers you. Take an informed and active role. Visit notonmywatch.com. Nothing hurts my mom, but she showed anyway. We were trained to help others but there's strength in finding help for yourself too. We're in this together. Even the toughest of us might not know where to go to get a little support. The VA Women Veterans Call Center connects veterans with personalized information on VA services that can make a difference. Call 1-855-VA-WOMEN or visit www.womenshealth.va.com. Back at Lutheran High School, getting ready to start second half action. Lutheran up 59 to 31. The leading scorer in the half was Jacob Agnosovic. He almost broke the calculator Chris is using. He has 22 points, followed by Casey Berhagen with 14. Delvin Barnstable with 10. Uh, for Young Cogs, their leading scorer was Demetrius Hatton coming off the bench to score eight points. 
Uh, James Nelson Jr. and Jalen Tolliver each chipped in with six. Uh, Chris, a lot of three-point misses for uh, Young's Cog. They shouldn't be down 28. No, they uh, missed 16, Marty. Two of 18 from three. Uh, just 11% from three uh, for the game. 40 shot attempts for Young Cogs already. 40. Last night in the North game, uh, the whole game only had about 50. Uh, 35 shot attempts for Luther, and they shot 57% from the floor, 71% from three-point range. Uh, everything was rolling um, for them. Uh, some early things to discuss, though, is Howard Grove's ahead of Oosford by five. Houstonsford, which would be the next opponent for uh, Lutheran, is uh, winning by nine, and uh, Sheboygan North. Ugh. They're down 37 to 16 at half at Brookfield East. Uh, Brookfield yikes. East is good. They are really good. Well, they're showing it tonight, apparently. Yeah, and a tough, tough back-to-backer for the Raiders after last night's. Uh, physical, tough overtime victory. Uh, let's watch Jalen Tolliver, number 15. He's got four fouls. But he had three. He's got four. He got that one down here at the end, which shouldn't, shouldn't have been a foul, but it was. Good recovery that time. Inside feed. Good, good positive by Coach Gray, but Agnostic with another two. Yeah, he's now nine of 14 from the floor. He's got a dozen rebounds already. Taking and missing that three was uh, Terrence Members. Michael Berger again starting the uh, first, second half. <laughs> Little too much passing on the inside. Berger caught uh, Ignacevic's pass, but he was standing on the baseline. You can't do that. Ball. No. No, you definitely can't do it. They don't even let you do that in pickup basketball. <laughs> Six turnover for Lutheran. Shot is blocked by uh, Jonah Juris. Hagen right down the baseline and puts it up and in. He's, he's had, had a big game, 16 he has. points. And he's five of seven from the floor. James Nelson getting it uh, pretty consistently at the high post, but he can't do much with it. Agnostic with another rebound. That's now two of 20 from three-point range for Young Cogs, which they needed to hit a bunch to stay in this one. Little reverse layup by Ignacevic, he scores again. They can't handle him, Chris, he's too much. No, and I hope soon he's not in the game, Marty. Yeah, I hear ya. That's exactly oh, why. He's getting roughed up inside, he's not happy. Gotta settle down though, Jake. That's what I'm saying, is you don't need him to get Hurt. No. James Nelson picking up that. Up by 34. Berger, oh no. That was not a good call. Well, at least I don't think so. No. Chris doesn't think so. That makes it unanimous. She's too tall, just too tall. Yeah, and we thought it'd be a problem coming in when we saw it. But uh, they can't hit shots and Ignacevic just cleaning it up. 15 rebounds for him. For Hagen, wow. kisses it off the glass and puts it in. And then 
Casey just having a huge <laughs> game too. Another good start for uh, Lutheran. Hatton coming back in. He had a great first half along with Couch. Tolliver taking it to the basket, gets fouled. He'll be at the line. You know, we mentioned it earlier in the half that uh, Young Cogs was not a good free throw shooting team. And in that first half, Chris, they only made one of five. Yeah, Coach Gray is still very positive with his team, though, Marty. Yeah, I give him a lot of credit. He's just up against a tall task, literally yeah. tonight. <laughs> exactly. Oliver looking good on those two free throws. He's, uh, he has eight points, he's made two of three. Nice pass by Grabowski. Good cut down the lane by Grabowski and he got a good pass from Barnstable and he scores. He's three of three from the floor. Braden Grabowski with six. Oh, tough shot. Frederick Crouch. He's got five now. It's just their first basket here in the second half. Yeah, that was her first, you're right. Coach making a real nice move. The left-handed Barnstable nails a three from deep in the corner. That's been the problem tonight when Young Cogs does defend well. Somebody always gets a basket and makes one that <coughs> just kills. Couch with another score. Lutheran had uh, five three-pointers in the first half. They've got another one here. Verhagen looking from outside the line. Wow. He's got another one, another three. There's seven of nine from out there. Yeah, 21 points for Verhagen. <laughs> Undeas Burks checking in for uh, the Eagles. Three-point shot is up and in by Terrence Members. That's his second three-point basket. Agnosevic committing his second foul. It's the 30-second timeout. Gonna set up a play here, Marty. Yeah, I wanted to mention a couple of things, Chris, since this is our last game. We wanna thank all the uh, crew member members we've had throughout the season. Uh, especially wanna thank uh, Scott Mailoff for bringing those uh, students uh, on to help. They were a, a big help for us. I make a big deal about uh, us as a winning program. <laughs> oh, right yeah, we now, coming into tonight, we're uh, 13 and five. We should leave 14 and five. That's a successful season, Chris. Well, yeah, Sheboygan North had only lost. And uh, I hate 16. to complain, but I was gone for a game or two, and you only split that time. <laughs> Couch, I'll tell you, another example for uh, the Eagles, where they had numerous attempts at the basket, and it just won't go in. Yep, they're just three of 11 here in the uh, second half. Thirty-one percent in the game. Couch on the free throw. Couch now has six points in the ball game. It's 75-41. Uh, 13-14 left.
Krabowski with his fifth Grabowski rebound. With the rebound. I'm his, sorry, Chris. His fifth. Oop. We'll call that a pass. Make it a turnover. Three ball, no good. Oh, nice pass again by Berhagen. Grabowski with eight now. And it's a track meet. Coach had it tapped away from him. <laughs> Nailing the three was Terrence Members. Got a couple threes now in the second half. Coach, another basket. For Hagen, short arm, it got it to the basket, but he didn't have enough left. Nice pass by Verhagen again to Ignacevic. He has 28. Oh, he walked. Oh, yeah, shuffle the feet, got away with it. Tolliver down the baseline, hanging, couldn't get it. Ignacevic averages uh, 30.3 points per game, so he's uh, gonna get at that average. And tonight. 15 rebounds. A two-point basket for Barnstable. What's up with that? 15 rebounds a game for Ignacevic. He's got 17 already. Well. Verhagen lays it off the rim intentionally so Ignacevic can dunk it. That's an assist, Chris. Yep. Tolliver. No. And here come the running. Oh. Barnstable going hard to the basket, scores. He has 17. Oh, that was pretty. What a shot by Demetrius Hatton. His first points of the second half, he now has 10. Hey, it's a full timeout. I don't know about Chris, but I definitely need a breather break. Woo. We've all seen that moment in movie credits that says no animals were harmed in the making of this film. As a film director, I rely on the eight decades of experience American Humane brings to safeguarding animals on set. They consult on scripts, advise on locations, training, veterinary care, and so much more. As a director, nothing is more important than making sure everyone is safe, and that includes the animals on set as well. And thanks to the passionate people of American Humane, we can. Chris, I got a proposition for you. I'm winded. <laughs> Want to take play by play? <laughs> uh, I might have this wrong, but I think Lutheran has missed one basket here in the second half. That sounds about right. You know, those lob feeds to uh, Gnostic inside. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 baskets. Oh, I have a third. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, twelve of thirteen. I have them for in the second half. You know, and that includes two threes, so they're not all easy. Oh, thanks a lot. Barnstable missed. To right, Chris, they're up by uh, thirty-five. 37. Nasvik actually missed a shot, goes over the back to try and get the rebound and commits a foul. As soon as I said that, Marty, they've missed two in a row. <laughs> now 12 of 15. Ignacevic. Thirteen of nineteen. Oh, right tonight. through the defense, Demetrius Hatton. 
Kids play hard, Marty. Verhegan for another layup. Get him back on the plus side, making baskets. Verhegan, three ball, couldn't get it in. Tolliver with the rebound, lead feed. Good recovery by the Eagles. Patton, Euro step, couldn't get it to go. You know, in an up and down game, Casey Verhagen looks awfully good. Yep. Well, I said Lutheran likes his pace. Ooh, carry action, no call. Graydon Grabowski fouled hard by uh, Anthony Martin. Well, they're up by 37, Marty. I think soon, if they get to 40, the clock will start to run. And uh, I just don't want to see anybody get hurt. Exactly. Uh, I know it's a up and down, and but how long you keep your guys out there. I mean, if they get it under 20, I don't know. I just, uh, I you don't. Know, if Barnstable wasn't feeling well, you'd hardly tell it the way he's played tonight. Yeah. He's, uh, I have him uh, six of 14 shooting. But in tonight's game, everybody's got a lot of shots. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Lutheran was 12 for 16 on their free throws in the first half. They're one for two this half. <laughs> Gonna get Hatton on a travel. Just the seventh turnover of the game for Young Cogs. Young Cogs prep is located down in the Milwaukee area. Good swing, good ball movement by Lutheran. Robbie Michael cutting down the lane, fake. Shot, no good. Couch with the rebound. Three ball by Nelson is no good, and then it goes out of bounds. Good hustle by Tolliver, he just couldn't quite catch up to it. Good hustle is right. Even though they're down by a bunch, the Eagles are playing extremely hard, Chris. Just three seniors on their team. Number three, number four, and number 23. Grabowski. He's having drains a it. perfect night. Five for five from the floor. Now up 40. Yeah, he's up 11. Oh, a nice feed. But again, a miss inside. A block that time by Agnosovic. Hey. Grabowski oh. in and out. There goes this perfect night. Michael with a steal. Inside to Agnosovic. His third dunk of the game. Time to get him he out. He has 32. Time to get him out, Marty. Couch, no good. Casey Verhagen inside to Ignacevic. Fourth dunk. Foul on uh, Graydon Grabowski. Here you see the flush. I never could do that, Marty. On your wiffle basket, you could. <laughs> <laughs> Couch back to the line. He'll be shooting a pair. He get a good shot of uh, Frederick Couch.
Running clock. Well, okay, not. here's one for you, Chris. If it goes back under 40. No. Once it's uh, initiated, it stays that way. Oh. And uh, Gnostic finishes with 19 boards, Marty. How many points did he end up with? 32. Okay. I'd get all my guys out. Yeah, I could get Casey out. Grabowski out of there. Let I run. see some football in Casey's future. Maybe quarterback on the football team? I don't think that's ever going to happen. Why not? <laughs> Baseball? A good defense player. He's a play really in good there. cross country runner, Marty. Really? Yes, he is. Wow. He was like the third on the team as a freshman. Well, they don't have cross country in the spring. Like, right. I don't know if they'll do track or baseball. If baseball's available, yeah. Ooh, that was a bad one. And Casey Verhagen checks out. He has 23 points, Chris. Got to get your guys out, Nick. Get your guys out. Get Graydon out of the game. Get Jonah out of the game. Get Berger out of the game. All you have to do is win by two. 34 for Ignacevic, Chris. Okay. Oh, Robbie Michael right down Main Street, and he scores easily. He has seven points. Max Leonard, number 13 in the ball game. See him guarding the ball right there. Berger with a steal. Berger, oh, kisses it off the glass and scores. Clear it. I think they're going to clear it. Full timeout. JT Schultz checks in. Malachi Staple checking in. 440 left in the ball game. Not nearly as exciting as last night. No, but it's been up and down. It's been fun. Just uh, too, too much Lutheran today. They were tough. Good, good playing by Agnosovic. He was, you said it, he was just a man amongst boys tonight. Uh, one thing I didn't check, Chris, maybe I should have, I didn't even think of it, was how many times Lutheran has scored 100 points this season. They'll definitely go way over 100 tonight. Yeah, three or four. Maybe. Three or four, but I get, uh, I get Michael Berger out of the game here, too, and Robbie Michael. You don't need your top seven in. <laughs> Coach Gray still coaching. Okay, we got Staple, Berger, Schultz, Leonard, and Michael in the ball game for uh, the Crusaders. Couch, Exum, Williams, Biami, and Murphy in for uh, the Eagles. Going high for that pass was Biami, but uh, couldn't he couldn't do anything with it once he got it. Schultz at the rebound. Michael, rainbow three, drops. He has 10 points. Yeah, he's four Woody getting ready to check in. He's at the table. Also getting ready to check in is Zach Verheist. They're both in. Good decision by Coach Verhagen to get these guys out. I just don't want to see anybody get hurt, Marty. You twist an ankle, someone runs you into the wall, you know. Run into our uh, table here.
Missing that free throw was Exum. Had a chance to get in the book, Chris. Leonard with a rebound. Schultz has it on the side. Oh, great pass. Getting the easy basket was Max Leonard. Three ball and good by Murphy. Should have had him in earlier. Leonard inside to Verheist, but he was not able to do anything with it and uh, was fouled. Only the fifth foul on uh, Young Cogs. Uh, there are a couple of those substitutions I don't care for, Chris. Travel on Leonard. Clock running, getting down to the two minute mark. Big night scoring for uh, the Crusaders. Again, not Still being able to make three. the basket. Another one up and short, and another reload. And good hustle. Getting that by shot Exum. off was Exum. He's going to go back to the line. Good hustle by him. Williams and Biami at the table and uh, Hatton. Gonna check in. Holzheimer. Gerdalkas and Holzheimer in. Hey, you got it. <laughs> in the book, Chris. Passing up the shot was Verheist taking a three shot, three ball attempt. Holzheimer's not. It was Holzheimer, but he stupid. couldn't get it in. Biami off the glass, <laughs> no good. That had a lot of rainbow on it. It did. <laughs> I think we would have ran the clock I, out on that one. I feel rain. Taking it right to the basket was Staple, but he had it tipped away. That's going to be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Luther and a winner, 104 to 55. Don't go too far from your set, TV set, because we'll be back with a couple interviews, and we'll wrap up this game and uh, our season. your age I was just like you fascinated by stars <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe and who knows maybe life is looking for us too so we're like aliens to them yeah does anyone want to be a scientist now I oh, do easy. awesome we need more girls in STEM maybe we can find aliens Hey, we missed you at the game last week. Is everything all right? Hey, uh, just haven't been feeling like me lately. You know I'm here for you, right? That's a cut. Beautiful. Acting is one thing. Talking about suicide in real life is another. In the military, you take challenges head on. And now it's your turn to do the same for our veterans. Be there. Learn how you can start the conversation at betherefoveterans.com. I dare you. I dare you to change the world. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. 
I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you? Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you. to your money, whatever you want to get smart about, you can find at smartaboutmoney.org. Smart About Money is a free online resource. We are a non-commercial, non-profit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get information about money. For everything from how to build an emergency fund to how to deal with job uncertainty, smartaboutmoney.org has the answers you've been looking for. Smartaboutmoney.org, the easy place to start when you want to get smart about your finances. There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Yeah. We're back at Lutheran High School where the Crusaders pulled off a big victory tonight in the regional finals. They will move on to sectionals next Thursday against Eustisford. We have a couple of the winning Crusaders, Jacob Agnostic and Michael Berger. We'll start with the senior. Uh, Michael, talk a little bit about the game tonight and what you guys had for uh, Cogs. 
Uh, we just wanted to come out, play as a team, and play aggressive. Play up, up court and play team basketball. That's it. Now, you guys knew coming in, Young Cogs likes to push the ball also. You had no, no uh, reservations about pushing it up against a smaller, very quick team? No. We knew that we could push the ball up faster than them, and we are in more control than them. So we just pushed the pace and played good defense. Did you guys, your team, ever talk about getting the ball to Jake inside? Uh, just a little bit, a little bit, you know. That's it. Did anybody on the squad, including the coaches, ever encourage him to step out and take a three? Uh, a little bit. We don't like to on the point line too much because he dominates inside, so we like that. What about you, Michael? Uh, you've had a chance to start a couple of times, a couple of the games that I think anyway. Uh, Barnstable's been hurt. I know he normally hurt. Uh, how do you approach that uh, aspect of uh, just coming off the bench? Uh, I play with the same mindset no matter what. I just step up, do it, get the win, and help my team do the best that we can. Great answer. Chris, let's flip it over to you. Jacob, you mentioned the pace today. Do you like it flow and a uh, beating game like Oosberg and Howard? Do you like running up and down the floor a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely like I don't really like stalling and have two minute possessions. That's not really fun. And I mean, that's not really the way we like to play. We like to push it, get it to Casey, and just get it and go. So it was nice to have another team like that where we can just push it. And, yeah, run up the score a little bit. So. Yeah, that was one of our concerns, Mike and Mike, when we came in today that, you know, the pace is going to be quick. But I said in the opening, I think, I think Lutheran would just as soon have it, just like getting up and down. A lot of people can contribute. My gosh, you got about. 40 shots in the first half. I mean, a whole bunch of shots. That's a lot of fun basketball. Yeah, it is fun. You know, that was kind of our goal because uh, we knew that they were going to press us. So our goal was to just get it to Casey and then just break the press and then get easy baskets. And then obviously just being patient on offense and then getting cutting to the hoop and then getting the best shot for us. So that was really our goals for the game. Yeah, and I asked you before, you guys, one thing that always struggles with the WIA, you almost never play back-to-back -back games all year. And for the tournament, you put in a back to back situation. How are your legs after last night? The team, and you look great, obviously scoring 100 points, but is it tough to play these back to backers? Uh, yeah, it is tough, obviously, to play back to back, but you know, we practice we practice hard and our coach is ready for the types of games, so we're ready for it. Yeah, next step, obviously, is a couple days off, and then we're, we're on the sectionals, kind of what you've been building up for, so it should be a, a great week for you guys to practice. Yeah, it will. You know, this week we just got to be focused at practice and continue to get better for us. Yeah. Yeah, it was a joy to watch you guys tonight and all season. I look forward to seeing you Thursday night. Marty? Uh, we want to jump back here to Michael. Michael, you got the trophy. Would you please show that to our fans? <laughs> nice to get that in the trophy case. Yeah. Boys, thanks a lot for stopping over. Congratulations on the win. Good luck at sectionals. And with that, we're going to close out our uh, basketball season. Great job by the crew throughout the year. And uh, thank all you people for watching. We really enjoyed doing those basketball games. I can't tell you. We wish we could go on the sectionals and follow you guys. But uh, we're going to have to call it a season. For it's my fast. Yeah, it's fast. exactly. It's a fast season. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you down the road. Thank you. Got it. Thank you.